Let's talk about upper jaw. Let, let me see what you've got there. I'm going to carry this end. What end is this? That is the viewing end of the endoscope instrument. It allows us to see the inside, and that's what we actually insert into the body. So the camera and the light are right here? That's correct. And what do you have in your right hand? This is sort of the lifeblood of the scope. This is what attaches to the computer and the processor so that we can supply light to the end of the scope at C inside and then retrieve the picture information from the inside as well and send it back to the computer. I'd call that sort of the power source. What have you got in your left hand? This is the steering wheel, if you want to call it that. Let It'll... me grab the power source. I've got the power source in the camera, so That's you've right. got the steering wheel there. That's right. And if the end of the endoscope is flexible as it is in, now, in, in modern day technology, then this allows us to steer it in different directions. So we can go up, down, left, or right using this device right here. Now, Let's talk about the esophagus, and on this picture, the esophagus is right here, like we're going to look down into the stomach, the mouth would be right here. Do you put this in the mouth and then start looking? Is that the way you do it? That's correct. How do you prepare the patient? What we do is we actually talk to the patient, discuss the risks and benefits of the procedure with them, get their informed consent so that we have their permission to do it, and then we have an anesthesiologist put them to sleep so that they can relax during the procedure. So they're asleep the whole time? That's correct. I had a patient tell me one time, I said, what was the EGD looking down into the stomach like? And he said, oh, 45 minute nap. That's right. And That's so exactly right. They're, they're sleeping, they don't know really what's going on. So uh, what's it like when the patient comes out of the anesthesia? Do they have a sore stomach or a sore esophagus or uh, is there any pain after the procedure? Essentially all patients wake up pain free. They may feel a little bit of gas in their tummy, but most patients will wake up and tell you they weren't even aware that we did the procedure. It is seamless. And the information that you get from this allows you to treat the patient and know what the illness is. Uh, to me, it seems like that's the gold standard, looking down. Um, how do patients feel after you've looked down? Do they have the confidence that, well, now we really know what's going on? In many cases, we do, especially if they come in with abdominal pain, difficulty swallowing, acid reflux symptoms. They get quite a bit of information from this procedure.